Hello everybody. Hope all you are doing well in good health. We are completing now COVID-19 pandemic and vaccination would be a great relief. We welcome our YouTube learning channel. Accurate ASME ISO. In this video we shall learn how to do 6 degree of freedom constraint in the CMM measurement. You shall also learn more features of CMM and GDNT. Datum, primary, secondary and tertiary. In CMM how they are created. Alignment or datum reference frame, establishment on real part. Very importantly, we also learn translation and rotation of alignment or datum system. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this channel and video. Let us begin now. The objective of the measurement is inspection of coordinates between two double holes. Datums are component SOF and double 1 and double 2 holes. Nominal dimensions given are 300 mm and 100 mm. Open or select geometry measurement menu. Select measurement of plane. Please note that surface geometry is different than plane geometry. Select minimum 8 measurement points. Measure a plane on the reference surface of the component. Please note that all points are equally distributed as far as possible. Verify the form or measurement deviation after the completion of the plane measurement. Software will store element as plane 1 by default in the database. User can input the desired name. Open the alignment menu. Select primary alignment feature. Select the measure plane 1 for datum feature. Note that, software will assign default axis name, X, Y or Z, nearest parallel to machine axis, and direction, most closely matched with, machine direction, positive or negative. Open the construction of feature menu. Select the construction of line through best fit option. Select the measurement circle 1 and circle 2 to construct a line 1. Open the alignment menu. Select secondary alignment feature. Select the constructed line 1 for datum feature. Note that software will assign default axis name X, Y or Z nearest parallel to machine axis excluding the name already assigned for primary datum axis. Direction of axis suggested most closely matched with machine direction positive or negative. Open the alignment menu. Select translation or origin feature. Select circle 1 and assign X, Y and Z axis origin. All the axes now originated from double 1 on the plane 1. Open the alignment menu. Select the rotation of the alignment. Select rotation axis about which rotation to do. Select axis name normal to plane is created, i.e. primary axis. Select the direction of rotation clockwise or anticlockwise. In this case rotation is clockwise. Input angle of rotation with negative sign to rotate clockwise. Open the nominal feature edit menu. Edit the the double hole nominal coordinates 300 mm and 100 mm. Input the tolerances plus minus 0.05 for both the coordinate. Open the output window to report the coordinates. Input double 2 circle for report and print the generated report. Hope that you have liked this video with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer Occam Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube, by subscribing a channel. Accurate, 
ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day.